G'day guys, welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial and in this lesson I'll be teaching you how to play Close by Nick Jonas. Now if you haven't heard, uh, Nick Jonas just recently performed at a music awards event and he was playing guitar in a live performance. He had a guitar solo in it and unfortunately didn't play quite the right notes. So if you haven't seen it, check it out because it's pretty funny. No doubt Nick Jonas is still a very good musician, but it's just nice to know that not everyone's perfect. Anyway, for the basics of this song, you'll need your guitar in standard shooting and caper on second fret. There's four chords you'll need to know. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then I suggest you go to guitarzerotohero.com and pick up my free guitar ebook. So the four chords you'll need to know are C6, so to play a C6, all you'll need to do is basically play an A minor shape, right? But with your free pinky finger, you're gonna put that on the third fret of the fifth string relative to the capo, of course. And that's your C6. You're not gonna be hitting the top sixth string for that. And that's C6. We have E minor, and then we have G, and finally we have an A minor. So we're going to start with the intro where there's no singing and I'm going to actually teach you a new technique here which is called hybrid picking. So what you're doing with hybrid picking is you're using a pick but at the same time you're going to be using your fingers to pick. Now this isn't necessary, this bit, this is just an optional part to learn if you want. Otherwise you can just strum the chords. Alright, so to play this intro riff you'll be basing it off three chord shapes. The first chord will be C6 the second will be E minor, and the third chord will be G. All right, so for the first chord, the C6, this chord shape, you won't actually have to push down your index finger for this riff, so you can just leave that up. So the first hit's gonna be you picking with your pick on the fifth string, and at the same time, you're gonna be using your middle finger, and you're gonna be picking the third string, like that. And one more time. So you're picking with your middle finger, but at the same time you're picking down with your pick. Like that. So after we hit that, you're going to hit the second string with an upstroke, and then the third string with an upstroke. So... And then we're going to go to our E minor shape, and you're going to do another hybrid pick here again. So you're going to pluck the sixth string with the pick, but with your middle finger, you're going to be plucking the third string again. So all together we have... And finally the last notes that we hit are going to be a hybrid pick on the G chord shape. Now the only difference we're going to do here with the G is you're going to take your index finger and you're going to put it on the second fret of the fourth string and not the fifth string. And we're going to be hybrid picking the sixth string and the fourth string. So the fourth string will be hit with your middle finger and the sixth string will be hit with your pick. And altogether, that riff sounds like this. And in succession. And that's it for the intro riff. Now we get to the verse and the verse is really easy. It's just a three chord chord progression. So we have the C6, the E minor, and G. So for the first four times we play this chord progression, we're just gonna hit each chord once. Now the C6 is going to be played for twice as long as the E minor and the G. So it'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and now when the beat picks up we're going to throw in a strumming pattern here now the strumming pattern is going to be fairly easy it's going to be down down up down up down down and all those chords fit within the one strumming pattern so the e minor and the g are the last two down strums of that strumming pattern so it'll sound something like this down down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. And that's played four times as well. Now we get to the pre-chorus of the song, and we're going to go back to just strumming each of the chords once. And that's going to be played three times. 
after we play that three times, there's going to be a two-beat break, and then we're going to go into the chorus. So it'll sound like this. One and two and three. And, and that's where we go back into the chorus. So notice that one and two and break after we've played that chord progression three times, just before the chorus. Now we get to the chorus, and the chorus is going to have two lines of chords. The first line of chords is going to be exactly the same as the verse, so it's going to be the C, 6, E minor, and G. And the second line of chords is going to be simply A minor, E, G. So you're just replacing that C6 with an A minor. The first line of chords is going to be played three times and then we have the second line of chords just played once. Now we're going to change up the strumming pattern here a tiny bit as well. The strumming pattern is going to be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And slower, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And just refer to the annotation up here for where you'll need to change your chords. And altogether, the chorus will sound like this. And those two lines of chords are just repeated once for the chorus. And that's everything you'll need to know for Close by Nick Jonas. Now I'm just going to be playing the intro, verse, pre-chorus and chorus. And I'm going to have my good friend Beck singing on top for some context. So play along and see how you go. I'm so perplexed with just one breath I'm wrapped in Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn I'm so perplexed when that is almost shocking I know, I know, you know you scared your heart Your mind, your soul, your body They won't, they won't, they won't be careful But I guess that you don't know If I want you, and I want you, babe Ain't going backwards, won't ask for space Cause space was just a word made up by someone who's afraid to get to So I hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson for Close by Nick Jonas. Make sure you head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free ebook. If you want to see more in the future, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave your thoughts, comments, and questions below, and I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.